Hi everyone, I'm here with Christopher. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I want to thank you for your support, and we really appreciate your your uh, independent mind. Your, your sharing your ideas and, and all the all about getting the knowledge and the facts, right? Right. Yeah. So you're from St. John, is that correct? Yes, that is. How long you been living in this in this town? I've been uh, living here my whole life. And what uh, what do you see is going on? Do you see any change? Oh, uh, not for the better, I guarantee that. Uh, see, I've uh, seen a lot of uh, job loss around here because, believe it or not, a lot of us are traditional Canadians are losing jobs to uh, th immigrants that have been brought in by globalist governments of the since uh, Confederation, as far as I can remember. Right. So there's a displacement of uh, traditional workers in this area, and you and you know your mayor. Oh, the mayor here is advocating wide open borders, eh? Bring them all, bring oh. more in. Yeah, but we can't be a nation without uh, closed borders. Secure borders. Secure right? and closed borders. Right. Because uh, believe it or not, uh, as a Canadians, I'm start. We're starting to feel like we've lost our uh, core identity because uh, of this uh, globalist government that we have in Ottawa right now. Mm -hmm. And you you realize it's been going on for a long time, right? Uh, I know it's been going on for a while, and uh, yeah. quite frankly, I've uh, I've had enough of the political mainstream. It's time to get a real uh, voice in Ottawa. Genuine, real voice. Genuine, true, real voice in Ottawa. That's standing up for Canadians. And standing up yeah. for Canadians. We also want a big, massive debt reduction because the way this, uh, the debt has been racked up by the globalist governments uh, from since uh, Pierre Trudeau, it's made the cost of living less affordable and uh, not just here but everywhere in Canada and for the record everyone's been uh, forced to rack up more debt now than ever and quite frankly I've, uh, we need to put a stop to this arising debt and the only, uh, the only logic best solution to uh, making it down bringing it down drastically would be to the complete restoration of the 1934 Bank of Canada Act. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, the debt's a big issue. It's not talked about in the mainstream, as you know, but uh, the debt, ser debt service payments every year are astounding. Nationally, over 64 billion a year. Federal government, over 32 billion a year now of your tax dollars. 32, just to service the debt, it doesn't pay off the principal. Get your mind around that. This is happening every year. These mainstream parties are in bed with the banks. And it started, as our friend here Christopher said, in 1974 when they shifted the public lending right. This should be the number one election issue going into the federal election. So let's uh, spread the word on this issue. Uh, the federal debt is over a trillion market debt now. Over, over a trillion market debt. Uh, Trudeau is on pace with Harper now in terms of debt accumulation. Maroney was the worst. Do your fact check. He added over 300 billion to the federal debt. That guy was a globalist, probably the worst one of them all. But do you do your homework? There's a lot of misinformation. The Conservative Party is putting out misinformation that they're fiscal conservative. This is false. Since 1968. The Conservative Party has added over 458.9 billion to the federal debt. That is a fact. Primarily by Maroney and Harper. Do do the fact check on that. The Liberals are bad, not as bad on when it comes to debt. They've added over 214.9 billion, not including Trudeau's debt. So they're going to be approaching over over 300 billion now. Uh, the Liberals now that uh, Trudeau Trudeau's been in, but. This is all bad, everyone, and just just fact check it. But this is all tied, like we were talking about the other day, to inflation, the cost of living. Then you bring in all these mi migrants coming in who are displacing Canadian workers. 
So it's not too hard to understand what's going on, but there's real corruption behind the scenes. Do you want to add any closing statements, Chris? Christopher? Um, yes, I would. As a matter of fact, the way things are, are right now, we can't afford another any more time with the, these uh, globalist parties. The globalist mainstream, they don't talk about uh, job creation for traditional Canadians. They don't talk about reducing uh, federal debt. They don't even uh, talk about reducing the size of bureaucracy or MP pensions to match that of average citizen, Canadian citizens. Yeah. It's all true. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the whole system needs to be shaken up. Uh, it's corrupt. It's been going on too long. The country's being mismanaged. Let's shake it up. That's what NCA. We want to disrupt the whole system. It needs to be shaken to the core. And a lot of Canadians know this. Beautiful Canadians out there who are hardworking, professional in what they're doing. Uh, they've been let down. But let's make a difference, everyone. Let's make a difference. Thank you. Thank you very much.